Hi friends. Today we have come up with a very interesting topic. Uh, 16 delta strangle. We must have heard about strangles, straddles, iron condor, so many different strategies, but we have never tried to apply it uh, any any you know a logical form to the strangle. So so today we are just trying to give that logical anger to uh, strangle that how to create a strangle a logical strangle so before we get into that we must understand uh, the normal distribution curve which we might have heard at the time of our college so normal distribution curve is is just i mean this is we when when we are plotting uh, the occurrences of an event uh then then this type of curve comes up so on the on the y axis there is occurrence probability and then on the uh, x axis there is uh, you know standard deviation so we we may not go to much mathematical uh, details on this but just to understand our strangle concept you must be aware of 6895 99.7 tool those who are much more interested in understanding this entire concept can find out this rule on google also right so this rule says if for for any particular event you know when we plot occurrences against standard deviation 68 percent of the data or the occurrence is within you know one standard deviation zone this is green zone 95 percent of the data points fall under two standard deviation zone that is green plus yellow zone and 99.7 percent of data points fall under three standard deviation zone right let me make it very simple so this is you know for example if you if you test a daily temperature of of a season uh, of a summer or winter so you will find 68 percent of times the temperature of that given day will fall under one standard deviation you know uh, and and like it would be it will not break the one standard deviation level it it uh, 68 percent of the times in the same sense our body temperature and and you know traffic at the peak are so all these things are random events so there is a probability that they will you know remain in one range which is one standard deviation 68 percent of the time uh, if we brought this range of two standard deviation then 95 percent time they will fell in fell in that particular range and if we brought this range further to three standard deviation so 99.7 percent times the outcome will be within that particular zone so same goes for nifty also so if we plot you know closing prices of nifty so and and we check like how much nifty rose or fell right it could gain one percent it might lose 0.8 percent it might gain two percent on a day it might you know fell by three percent on a particular day so if we see all these 30 say there are 30 days or 20 25 trading days so if we plot all these 20 uh, percentage of increment change uh, percentage change in nifty value so we will see 68 percent times this this remain under one standard deviation level like if current level is you know um, 9500 so it will remain if we identify one standard deviation level that i will let you know how to find so nifty value will remain within th that range 68 percent of the time so this is the core concept behind the rule which we are trying to build right now let's come to 16 delta strangle rule so let's understand it very carefully this rule applies only if you are selling options right this is not for buying options so this is the last normal distribution curve of the last slide 
so as of now you just need to keep this thing in mind the conclusion of the previous slide is that there are 68 percent chances that nifty will close within one standard deviation levels for that month green zone distributed equally it can go upside or lower side that we don't know but there is a range of one standard deviation 68 percent of times nifty nifty's percentage increment or you know a percentage decrease will not go beyond that limit one standard deviation limit if one standard deviation limit is say five percent then 68 percent of last 25 days data will say will fall under that below within five percent deviation from the current price range so this rule which you need to keep in mind so if we flip this route this this also means there are 32 percent chances nifty expiring beyond this range right of course if there are 68 percent chances that nifty will uh, close uh, within this range there are 32 percent chances that nifty may expire beyond this range right so let's understand this as a uh, option chain if mu is the current price on the right side there are call options on the left side there is put option just just uh, consider it as uh, option chain model which we understood in last video so then if we see all the calls which are above one standard deviation strike price there are 16 percent chance of these calls get being tested right because we are saying 68 percent time there are 68 percent chance that nifty will remain in green zone but there are 32 percent chance equally on upper side and lower side which means 16 percent on lower 16 percent on upper that nifty will break this one standard deviation level right so there is 16 percent chance that calls with strike price above that one standard deviation level will be tested otherwise there is a high probability 84 percent probability that these calls will not be tested as per the probability rule in the same fashion there are 16 only 16 percent chance that puts below one standard deviation level will be tested otherwise there is 84 percent probability nifty will not touch these levels so i hope this is clear till now because it is very 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 important concept so we understood from the last slide that 68 percent chance nifty will remain within one standard deviation hence there is 32 percent chance nifty will break this this level one standard deviation on equally di distributed on upper or lower side because nifty can either go up or low and if the total uh, probability of breaking this this one st uh, standard deviation level is 32 so 16 percent will be on the upper side 16 percent will be on the lower side so if we are able to identify one standard deviation strike price so there is only you know 16% uh, chance that all the calls above that strike price will be tested and there is only 16% chance all the puts below that uh, one standard deviation strike price will be tested right so 16 delta rules say you should just sell you should first identify one standard deviation strike price on the call side and one standard deviation strike price on the put side of nifty and then just sell that call option and just sell that put option of that strike price which is one standard deviation away so we will 
have only 16% chance of this trade getting failed, right? If suppose Nifty is moving up, but this rule states that the calls beyond 16% one standard deviation level will not be tested. So put will automatically become zero, right? And the call uh, of that strike price, there is only 16% probability that that, prob that call will be that level will be will be you know broken so hence this is a very high uh, you know probability in any kind of uh, strangles or any kind of option tradings 84 percent strike rate is is really great so the strategy is simple identify one standard deviation level on the call side and on the put side from the current level and just sell one call option of that strike price and one put option of that strike price remember we just cannot sell only one you have to sell two one call option and one put option to to make this probability of success at 84 percent right so let's understand how to identify this one standard deviation thing so we we need to have to identify 16 delta strike price we should have you know an option chain which is reflecting greek values so there are many free tools available in the market for example uh, option obstra option oracle and sensible i like option obstra uh, which is simplest so let's understand from the option obstra thing so this is Obstra option, uh, you can note the URL obstra.definish.com. Then you have to, if you have not created any account, you can create free account and then log in using that. You will see this screen. So, in this, we will go to options and there is, uh, we can see option chain, right? Once you open open the option chain april is no relevance here we'll select 28th may right so then uh, there are two uh, option one is option chain another is option greeks so we'll click on option greeks so the current strike price is around 95.50 so on the put side 16 delta it will be in the minus 16 because it is on the put side so the 16 delta strike price is 8700 right and on the call side 16 delta is about 10300 so we can assume like if we sell uh, 8700 put right and 10300 call because both of them have a delta of about 16 so uh, there is a high prob probability which is 84 percent probability of profit in this particular uh, strangle so this is what 16 delta uh, strangle rule is in in practical terms So now you just understood how we uh, identified those levels uh, and I will just like to mention here in the trade which we just you know identified for the benefit of viewer. So we sold one strike price of 8700 put, uh, one put of strike price 8700, 30 days to expiry because we took May, one call option of strike price 10300, 30 days to expiry since one of the of course since one of the option will anyway go to zero since market will end up either on the upper side or on the lower side so either your call will become zero or put will become zero so that trade is definitely uh, get uh, you know give you a, a, a benefit only that that will give you some some premium only entire premium not some entire premium one side will definitely give you on the other side 
there is only 16% chance of breaking that particular strike price hence so chances of trade going entire trade going to be right are 84 percent which is huge so but there are certain precautions i did we we are taking uh, you know maybe 30 days to expiry thing may end but ideal time to initiate this trade is 45 days to expiry right that gives you some more margin on the both sides hence you are more secured and then and, and if you get say maybe in in first 20 30 days you get the profit of you are gaining some premium so you just book it don't wait wait till the end right and currently due to corona thing the vix is unstable it is bit higher it is almost double uh, the normal vix these days so so either you can avoid trade or if you are taking a trade then then maybe i will uh, suggest you to go below 16 delta right you can either pick up four five delta um, strike prices on both call and put side that will also give you higher premium because vix is higher so hence uh, option premiums will also be higher right you can check back our other video on the same topic option premium and vix so since vix is high so so the strike price of of oh sorry the delta of even four five value will also give you higher premium but if you are willing to take risk you can even sell 10 delta you know uh, uh, call option and 10 delta put option also and if you're not taking risky trades you can just avoid trading just for the time being till the time this this corona things goes away or, or you can either do i mean you can sell 16 delta call option 16 delta put option and then buy certain you know four five delta call and put option just as a security so rather than taking a strangle uh, build an iron condor so we'll make a video on iron condor also so this is from my end for today so keep watching give me the feedback I will explain anything which you have not understood. Uh, I'll try to explain it on uh, uh, through the comments. So, but if still some topic uh, is not you're not getting into, we can always you know a set of people can always uh, decide a date and get into a Zoom webinar kind of thing also, right? So stay safe. Uh, keep trading and uh, just just uh, give me a like on this video if you really like this video and and uh, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so all these uh, basic things i am requesting so spread the uh, news of the channel also so that it can help lot many of us right thank you very much guys god bless